Thank you for tuning in to um, E Web Styles Unknown Secrets of Sevo Website Analysis. Um, this is where you you can go to our website e webstylecom fill out the free website analysis, and um, we'll pull it and we'll do a Sevo analysis on your site where we can determine you know first off Sevo search engine visitor optimization, and we like to look at your site and determine what you can do better in regards to search engines to bring people to your site and once they get there how can you make that traffic convert today's lucky winner is um, Evan Howell um, commercial real estate um, I think he does some residential real estate as well because I saw homes on his listings page but um, he, he filled out the form and so we're going to do an analysis on this site first thing um, the site looks kind of old um, the navigation is very small jumbled hard to read um, hard to click, you end up clicking on some other stuff, you know, when you're trying to click certain things. Um, luckily, you know, he does have an effect on there. Um, but the top banner was flash, and you know, which may have been okay back in the day, but now you can simplify that um, by using JavaScript or, you know, some HTML. Um, what makes it worse was that since that was flash, his whole page is flash. And so this content here, cannot be indexed by the search engines. His navigation can be indexed by the search engines. Real estate brokerage, property management, professional engineer, this should be text, but it's a graphic, that a flash graphic <laughs> that can't be indexed by the search engines. Let me scroll down, he does have some navigation here, uh, which I believe is text, and so those can be scanned. Uh, but when scanning these, we notice that he, uh, he has some hidden text. Evan, this is a big no-no. Um, first off, <laughs> it's not enough text, right? Google likes to see, um, you know, at least 250, 300 words. And so you're hiding text, same color font, that's very, you know, 1999, 2000-ish, black, uh, black hat, <laughs> SEO. It's just a big no-no. And so you shouldn't do it. Um, so, yeah, shame on you. We'll fix that for you. Um, um, let's go to the search my listing page. So we went through a site some more, and uh, this is this is a frame from its MLS embedded in this site, which is you know it's okay. It's you do real estate, that's fine. Uh, the problem is, is that once you get here, I can't go back to your home page. That link is broken. If you click it, click it, click it, you just won't go anywhere. Now you can't navigate through the rest of the site. And uh, you know, and then eventually get back to the home page. So you want to make sure that that the links on your site work. Um, let's go back to his home page for a second. Yeah, after you <laughs> click and then <laughs> yeah. Um, some of the other things that I that I noticed is that um, if you don't have any contact information on your home page above the fold, no phone number. No form, no any of that. You know, no graphic that links people to the listings page is what you probably want people to do. Something that, you know, that big and brightest day that says search my listings. You don't have that there. Um, no no phone number to call for people to, who ask you about certain listings if they find one that they like. And so you definitely want to include some sort of um, contact information. Um, in regards to your image, I know you're probably branding yourself. That's this sort of industry. Um, I think it's too big, personally. I would have pictures of properties here and maybe move your image closer to the top, a little bit smaller, similar to um, a lawyer site or something like that. Um, let's look at SEO Quick. SEO Quick is a tool we use. Let me be paying us for that. SEO Quick is a tool we use to... Um, to evaluate different sites, give us some kind of back-end information on how that site is performing for the search. Um, one of the things we noticed off top was your title. Title's way too long. More importantly, um, it's welcome. Your title starts with welcome. That title should say um, real estate brokerage. Whatever your most important phrase or service is should be the title for that homepage. Real estate brokerage and maybe even real estate auction services. Evan Howell. And leave it at that. And then, you know, if you had a real estate brokerage page, then that should be a title for that page. Um, a property management page would have that 
you know, property management as a title for that page to break it up. The, uh, the keywords were okay. Um, you should remove your name from the keywords because your, your domain name is evanhowell.com. And so anybody who searches for you, if they happen to search for Evan Howell, they're, they're going to find your site. No need to dilute your title or meta information with your name. Um, the description uh, was actually okay. Um, you know, that's a great description to have. Um, I would have probably tried to include some sort of call to action there because that is the information that Google is going to use when um, showing your description in the natural results. Um, as we went through your site, your page rank is kind of low. Um, that's because you don't have a lot of links coming to the site. You don't have a lot of content. Google doesn't see much value um, in your site. The only reason you probably got the one is because of the age of your site. Um, yeah, no robots file, no sitemap file. So those are things that you want to do. I looked at your, uh, your your words, the total words in your site, and it said 146. And that's how I found your hidden content. And when I realized that on your site, it's all flash. There was no text, but SEO Quake found 146 words. And so, yes, that means Google can find that 146 words as well. Um, you probably don't rank well, so they're not worried. <laughs> Um, it's not enough words. <laughs> I said all that to say that you need at least 200 to two, well, 250 to 300 words and you would want, you know, um, property management, which is a good two word phrase, um, to be in there pretty consistently. Right now, it's in there way too much. They like a density at about 2.5 to 3%. Your density is at 4% for, you know, 146 words. So increase your content, display it the right way, and then you know um, have the, the right amount of key phrases in there uh, with the right density. It's a very 1999 uh, methodology. You know, there's a little keyword stuffing going on on property management in such a short amount of uh, yeah. of words. Yes, yeah, so we'll go back to the site. So Evan, um, you probably have a good service. Um, you know, LinkedIn is cool. Facebook is. Yeah, it's okay for what you're doing. Um, you could probably actually benefit from a Twitter account, posting new listings, things of that nature, maybe tweeting people who, who you, or if you're following social conversations, people who are mentioning looking for properties in your area, tweet them, you know, and so that way you can kind of use social to gain some potential buyers or clients. Um, but definitely get rid of the flash, go with JavaScript, it, it loads faster, it's, it's readable and, and indexable, and um and it's viewable on on mobile devices as well that can view <laughs> that don't view flash right um yeah other than that you have some contact information at the bottom um you know your phone number i would make that bigger and move it to the top um you have anything else um no no yeah i think I, it'd be interesting to see what you're doing a social campaign would be really good you know who mm -hmm. just moved into a house of course or um, in the case of commercial, who you just put uh, in a location. Yeah, especially uh, previous clients, you know, have them like you. Especially with, with the Bing and Facebook deal, you know, people searching on Bing for, for commercial real estate, and they've liked you, if they're, if, you know, if you're logged into Facebook, when you search, they'll see, you know, um, that, that they liked you as well. All right, so I think that's it. Yeah, so if you want your uh, website CVOD, <laughs> If you want a search engine visitor analysis uh, about your website, go to eWebStyle.com. Uh, fill out the form, hit submit. Uh, we'll pull you, and uh, we'll be glad to analyze your site. Thank you.